Hi guys, this is RC from AppyPy and today we will learn how to create our own app using AppyPy. You will have to go to the home page of AppyPy and click on the create app button here or here. Having done that, you will be asked to choose the category of the app and give it a name. You will be taken to add pages wherein you will be required to select the pages that you want to add from here or here directly. You can click on this to see all the pages like uh, food ordering, m-commerce, in-app purchases, augmented reality, location-based directory, audio and video live streaming. You could go to each of the sections to find out uh, these important pages like m-commerce and food ordering and in-app purchases. You can go to multimedia to check out the video and the audio pages and uh, you can go to contact to make your directory and the call us page. So I'm going to choose a few pages that I feel I would be needing for this app. The about page, the Facebook page, the call us page and the website. The about page can be named what you want. You could call it about us and uh, basically feed in all the information about the business that you're talking. So you put in the information here in the description, the name of the founder, the year of foundation, the mission, the vision and the awards. The Facebook page basically requires you to put in the URL of the business on Facebook in your app here. When you click on preview, you see it in the simulator. There. You can add more such links. The next page is call us. This is the one click to call facility in the app, wherein you can put in all your mobile numbers, your office numbers and the landline numbers. You can add more such numbers here. And in the website page, you're required to put in the URL of your website. All right, once having done that, I can see these options here of deleting a page, of locking it with a login, of hiding the page or simply closing it. I can even change the feel of uh, the app, the look and feel by changing the splash screen here. So I get a choice of screens here that I could switch to. The app category can also be changed from here. So I had chosen online business when I had started making the app. I could choose it to something else and uh, make it maybe construction. And the splash screen would automatically change depending on the category. I still have the choice to go ahead and make changes and make it this. I can choose my app icon from here or I can even upload one that I like. I can change the app background from here and similarly I can decide if I want a text in the header or an image or no header at all. I can simply choose to have the text or just an image or no header, just the text. Now here also I can decide if I want a background or not. So if I click on this, I would get a background, the color of which can be changed. The navigation layouts can be done from here and they look like this when I click on them. So I can decide the layout of the app from here and change all the colors from here in terms of the icons, the page colors, the backgrounds, the text colors, the page scheming and finally give it a tint of a color that I like. So if I go here, I can see the difference I can make to the app simply by choosing an app overlay function. Having done that, all I need to do is click on save and publish. 
when I've published the app, it will ask me to sign up with an existing ID or with a new ID. So I can say I'm a new user and click here. Give myself a name and an email ID. And a password. Once I've signed up, I would be asked to choose a plan which comprises of the free, the basic, the gold and the platinum. Basic, gold and platinum are paid plans. I would choose the free plan here. And I would now be taken to the dashboard. This is what it looks like. I can go to the My Apps function here. And I can download my app from here. I can decide the platform that I want to download on. And well, my app is ready for use. Thank you so much for using AppyPie.